This is a city shaper mission model of a fallen building. <clears throat> it may not look exactly the same as the real model since we do not have the 7x11 large square frame. However, we used the equivalent parts to build the same structure. The weight distribution may be slightly different, but it should be very close to the real model. Now I will show you how it works. It is, it is supposed to begin like this, and you are supposed to lift it upright on its base. However, you may be not careful enough and accidentally tip it over to the other side, or you may lift it upright but not sitting on its base. The finished mission should end up upright and on its base. This is a very tricky mission. You could push too hard, have it tip over to the other side, or you could support it, but it could always bounce back, even at the perfect balance point. Now let's take a look at the pathway mission. In our model, the vehicles are attached to the platform and the vehicles may not look exactly the same, but we mimic the real vehicles and it should be very close. The goal is to raise the platform to clear the pathway. This is the swing mission. It is easy, but very fun. Let's play with it. The goal is to lower the bar to start the swing, and then the swing swings back and forth. You are supposed to start like this. Now let's look at the most exciting mission of City Shaper. This is the coolest bridge that we built as a team. None of our robots can drive, none of our robots can drive reliably up the bridge and we'll use this remote controlled vehicle to drive up the bridge. The goal is to press down these two tabs to raise the flags. You do not have to drive your robot up the ramp to press down the flags. However, there may be an end of game bonus giving you extra points if your robot is on top of the ramp at the end of the game. Now we will use this remote controlled vehicle to drive up the ramp and raise the flags. Thank you for watching presented by Diamond Cube.